Happy Halloween to all the Narans on the go and in the know. October 31st, 2019. No hype, no BS, just the facts. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next post. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know that today, we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest, No Quick Fixes for Iraq's Economic Woes, by Dale Gavlik October 30, 2019 11.38 a.m. Amman, Iraqis took to the streets Wednesday in another day of protests over high unemployment, a lack of public services and alleged corruption. Some observers believe the ongoing demonstrations, which have left at least 250 people dead in recent weeks, could pave the way for real and badly needed economic reforms in the oil-rich nation of nearly 40 million people. Despite their country's vast oil wealth, many Iraqis live in poverty or with limited access to basic services, as the nation struggles to recover from years of sectarian and Islamic state conflict. Some 7 million Iraqis reportedly live below the poverty line and the World Bank puts youth unemployment at 25%. Analysts say corruption, economic mismanagement and runaway spending have eaten away at the potential prosperity Iraqis had hoped for. Also, a boost in government spending has yet to translate into jobs, even though the economy is projected to expand this year by 3.4 percent, buoyed by increased crude oil production. After two years of economic contraction, Analyst Anthony Pfaff of the Atlantic Council and the U.S. Army War College tells VOA that there are no quick fixes to turn the economy around or bring about better services in the short term. Pfaff says if Baghdad is serious about reform and willing to make the necessary sacrifices, it likely will need initial economic help from outside sources such as the World Bank, Gulf Arab states, the United States and the United Nations to confront systemic woes. You can with a little leadership push through those kinds of things that will enhance its ability to provide services to the people, and open up and grow the economy and divest itself from state-owned enterprises and the other kinds of things it needs to do to diversify its economy and give everybody an equal voice, he said. Those are the kinds of things that can at least demonstrate the right intent, provide a little hope. But if it stops there, you are back to square one and more protests. Pfaff says that Iraq has begun to establish banks where individuals can get small loans for business startups, but the development is not widespread or well known. He also urges Iraq to remove barriers to foreign investment, the regulations, visa requirements and the inability to move money in and out of Iraq in a transparent, accountable way make it very hard for large corporations or big investors to invest in Iraq. He said, that's just one of the things they need to try to figure out and get rid of those barriers, the sometimes Byzantine and inconsistently applied regulations that just make licensing and other stuff very difficult. Jihad Azur, the director of the International Monetary Fund's Middle East and Central Asia Department, was quoted recently as saying Iraq needs more job creation and a boost in infrastructure spending. Earlier in October, the Iraqi cabinet issued a new reform plan to respond to the ire and demands put forth in protests that appeared to take authorities by surprise. The unrest has proved to be a major challenge for Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, who formed his government a year ago. Next article of interest. The parliament session witnessed an escalation and chants demanding the presence of Abdul Mahdi. October 31, 2019 1557 Baghdad Parliament witnessed the session of parliament on Thursday. The growing chants calling for the arrival of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to today's meeting. A parliamentary source told Euphrates News that today's meeting saw the loudest voices and chants demanding the presence of the Prime Minister to the Council. Since the beginning of this month, Iraq has been witnessing popular demonstrations demanding reform, job opportunities, getting rid of corruption and many other demands. Next article of interest, Saleh. I will agree to hold early elections and replace the Electoral Commission with judges. October 31, 2019 1728, the President of the Republic Baram Saleh, on Thursday, agreed to organize early elections and replace members of the current Election Commission with judges and experts. There is no security solution. Repression is unacceptable. The use of force and violence is also unacceptable. There is no security and no reassurance without a state monopoly on weapons. Saleh said, he added, Parliament must take an extraordinary action to keep pace with developments, pointing to direct referral of corruption files to the judiciary, 
We have started working on the presidency for a new election law that is fairer and more representative of the interests of the people, including the right to run for youth, and addresses the problems of the previous law. Its circles are professionally away from the party and from experts, specialists and independents. We expect next week to present the draft law that we are working on in cooperation between the departments of the presidency and a number of experts, specialists and independent as well as UN experts, he stressed, direct in the circles of the presidency to sponsor a national dialogue to work to address the structural imbalances in the system of government in accordance with the constitutional and democratic contexts meets the demand of Iraqis and good governance beyond the ills and gaps in the past experience, and also helps us in this work a group of experts and legal experts and independent. I personally continue consultations and meetings with various blocs, forces and popular events, in order to bring about the desired reforms and within the constitutional and legal context in a way that preserves the stability of Iraq and protects public security and promotes higher national interests. Saleh said, as president, I will agree to hold early elections by adopting a new election law and commission, the legitimacy of power from the people. There is no alternative, he said. Saleh continued, the prime minister had agreed to submit his resignation, asking the political blocs to reach an acceptable alternative, in light of the commitment to constitutional and legal contexts and to prevent a constitutional vacuum noting that the status quo is unacceptable and must be changed. Next article of interest, Iraq's Prime Minister agrees to resign, President says, after weeks of protests, by Mohammed Tafik, CNN updated 1.9 p.m. ET, Thursday, October 31, 2019, CNN Iraqi Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi has agreed to resign after weeks of anti-government protests that led to hundreds of casualties, Iraq's President announced Thursday. In a televised speech to the nation on Iraq's Al Iraqiya TV, President Baram Saleh said Abdul Mahdi had agreed to step down on the condition that a successor is agreed to replace him. The Prime Minister has agreed to resign, Saleh said, adding that Abdul Mahdi had asked political blocs to reach an acceptable alternative in order to prevent a vacuum. More articles of interest to come. Hit that subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss my next post. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Dinarayan.